Previously on Solar Balls, the sun has had enough of his planets disobeying him, so he will teach them a lesson once and for all. What to do? What to do? Uh, guys? I think we've done it now. Done what? Angered the sun past the point of reason. He's been past the point of reason for a long time, Earth. Yeah, but what's he gonna do to us now? Remember that whole planets ordered by size thing? When did that happen? You don't remember? You became smart Neptune and all, mate. Ha! But I am already smart Neptune. I... I mean, yeah. I'm not saying you're not, but... Never mind, mate. Guys, let's focus. We need to figure out what the sun's gonna do to us next. I mean, what's left? Planets ordered by temperature? By color? Alphabetically? Don't give him ideas, guys. He can hear us. <laughs> you know me too well, Mercury. Dang it. And yes, Thank you for sharing your great ideas of new ways to punish you guys. You're welcome. But Mercury had the best one. Me? Yup. From this distance, I can more easily keep track of every single one of you. By this distance, you mean my orbit? Exactly. 150 million kilometers from me. The famous Goldilocks zone. Isn't that a fairy tale character? The name is based on her, yes! Not too hot and not too cold. Perfect for water to stay liquid. In other words, for life to develop. Yeah, we know. But what are you saying, son? You can't possibly pretend that everyone's gonna share your orbit? Well, why not, Earth? You wanted to be closer to your friends, right? Son, I think it's very well established that planets sharing orbits always leads to catastrophe. But you are sentient planets. I'm a sentient star. We'll figure it out together, okay? Son, please. None of you respect me. That changes today. System now. Psst, Mercury! Hey, Mercury! Any bright ideas? What? Any bright ideas? You two trying to start a conspiracy behind my back? No, we're not. Doesn't mean we like this, but. What about you, Jupiter? But I didn't say anything. You've been a bit of a troublemaker lately. Maybe I have to keep a closer eye on you from now on. Whatever. What did you say? I said whatever, okay? I'm not trying to stir the pot, son. Everyone just wants to relax and you're- I'm what? Forget it, I'm good. Okay, anyone else? What about our moons? They'll continue to orbit you. Business as usual. No, 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 I got one. What about the dwarf planets? They've never caused as many problems as all of you, so they can continue to do their thing. Any more questions? Good, good. Okay, coast is clear. Glad you made it, Oberon. It was too close, though. Thanks for joining this emergency moon club meeting, everyone. I think the situation warrants it. By situation, you mean the sun becoming a power-hungry maniac? Or maybe you mean our planets being forced to share an orbit? All of it, guys. All of it. Sorry I'm late. 
before we start, can we get another chair? I barely fit in the three, two, one, and... Oh, uh, hi, Jupiter here. Uh, this week, um... <sighs> Told ya. As I was saying, I'm doing the promo this week. Our amazing team of animators, writers, music composers, and more works every day to get you the best possible content. So if you like what you see and want more, there's ways you can help. You can support our Patreon, where you can get early episodes, learn tons of secrets about the future of the show, and have your name in the credits. But if merch is your thing, we got you covered with the Solar Ball Store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, all sorts of plushies, including me, and of course, our very own card game, Solar Cards. You can play with your friends and family while you learn about space, or you can try to collect them all. So yeah, these are some ways you can support our show so we can afford uh, more chairs for me. Stay close, okay? What did I miss? We're discussing the sun's latest dumb plan. Well, ask Ganymede. Dude, what? He saw this coming, remember? During the solar system trials. Uh, what did I say again? That the sun behaved like a dictator and everyone just tolerated him. That's right. And that one day there would be a planet revolution. Hold on, hold on. Let's not throw that word around so soon, okay? Then when, Titan? Hey, I'm trying to be the voice of reason here. The sun is coming up with a new plan, Titan. Maybe our only time of action is now. Yes, but he's losing the plot. We need to help our planets. Let's assess the situation with our planets and meet again. We need to work with them. That's right. Our experience should be able to help them overcome this situation. If we all team up against the sun... Hey, Titan. Everyone. Uh, the sun? <laughs> you moons just can't stay out of trouble, can you? <laughs> well... I Sorry to say this, guys, but I know all the tricks in the book. Your little meetings, moving from planet to planet when I'm not looking, none of that is gonna work anymore. Son, can we talk? No, Titan. From now on, you will listen. Come on, son, this is not right. Don't talk to me about right. If I have to be the bad guy to ensure everyone's safety, then believe me, I'll be the bad guy! Thanks for watching! Oh, and the next episode is already on Patreon, so watch it a week early by joining. Also, consider checking out our Solar Ball store to get exclusive plushies and solar cards. Bye!